Are you looking to give your Christmas tree a second life? Some Northwest homeowners say they are using them to prevent erosion and restore habitats. And they hope that more people will give that a try. King 5 Zero Kazuko reports from Pacific County for our Environment Northwest team. On its surface, you might think, hey, spread your Christmas cheer from year to year, but there's a lot more to it, including environmental benefits for the whole ecosystem. The edge was right here. It was beautiful and green. Dan Boholt discovered a festive way to keep this water at bay after seven flood events on his property along the North River near Raymond. My wife looked at me and says, hey, what are you going to do about this? He considered and nixed some expensive options, then learned there was a classic Christmas staple that could help trap sediment and build up the bank. He bought some Christmas trees off a troop of Boy Scouts and with help from family and friends got to work. We just started with one tree at the bottom and then two and three and just angled them up. So all that creates root structure and so then I just keep adding to it and here we are 25 years later and here we got 20 feet of bank over there, 40 feet. Some cities, counties and states are adopting projects like these, especially for coastal restoration in the southeast. Boholt says you may want to plan now for next year, asking people for their old trees ahead of time and advises you'll likely need shoreline and fish and wildlife permits for most bodies of water. But he says the work for him was worth it. And the salmon come up here and spawn the back channel over there. Um, they spawn in there. They spawn at every gravel spot. So. We got a happy place out here now. And he's already helping others in Pacific and Grays Harbor counties do similar work. From Pacific County, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.